What's up guys, we're back back another video, and today I'm going to be doing my reaction to the Steelers' loss against the Jaguars. So, this game was just a horrible game from the Steelers' um, point of view. You know, they were winning, you know, in the first quarter with a field goal, but, um, you know, the second half was just awful. Um, and, you know, not being able to put up points is a problem, you know. Um... You know, their pass defense was outstanding. Less than 100 yards, an interception, two sacks. That's great. Um, they only allowed eight completions. Problem is they let Leonard Fournette get 181 yards, Chris Ivory with a 41, um, and they allowed well over 200 yards rushing again, um, which is what killed them against the Bears. It killed them here. Um, you know, obviously with receiving defense, you know, everyone's got one reception, two receptions. Um, that's great. Um, but... You know, they just let the Jaguars just run all over them, uh, which is a problem, and the same problem they had with the Bears. Um, Roethlisberger had over 300 yards. That's great. Um, but he also had five interceptions, which that's, like, out. that's outrageous. Like, I couldn't even believe it. Uh, this game wasn't on TV, so I was just following the stats. I'm just seeing Bernalisberg throw interception after interception and, you know, two sacks. You know, obviously that's not too bad. Um, but five interceptions is... Horrible. I think two of them are actually returned for touchdowns, and you just can't let that happen. Um, their rush, their rushing never really got going. Um, as far as receiving, you know, they had a lot of receiving yards, obviously because they were down a lot of the games. So they must have been passing a lot. Three hundred yards, pretty good for Roethlisberger. One hundred fifty-seven yards for Antonio Brown. That's great. Juju Smith-Schuster put up over fifty yards. Bell had over ten, had ten receptions, which is awesome. Um, but you know, they really had to. Their offense never, I don't think they got any touchdowns. Um, no, so Boswell had three field goals. You know, that was nice to see him not miss any of those, but you've got to be able to put up points in the end zone. Um, if you can't score touchdowns, you won't win. Um, obviously, you know, against the Bengals last year and against the Chiefs, the Steelers had six, six field goals twice. Um, and that's good, you know, that they were able to put up six field goals and not lose. Um, but you gotta be able, you gotta be able to put up points, you know. You gotta be able to put up touchdowns. Um, you've never seen a team go all the way with field goals. Um, field goals might win a game, but you can't rely on them that much. And with an offense like Pittsburgh's, um, we, people were just really expecting them to be able to put up points like that. Um, and honestly, I was so surprised that they're only able to put up nine points, no touchdowns. Um, you know, I was just thinking their offense would be a lot better than that. Um, obviously, their rush defense. Is really inconsistent, um, but you know they got to be able to lock that lock that down. Their their pass defense was outstanding, which I was really surprised at. No one was really expecting that. Um, but then with Joe Hayden and a couple other um, secondary adjustments, you know they really started to lock down um, opponent receiving um, and passing. But they, you got to be able to put points in the end zone to win. So. Only being able to put up nine points isn't really going to get the job done, and letting them get 30 isn't either. So um, really just a horrible game, and people are starting to say is starting to show his age, and I'm like, not so fast. I mean, he, he isn't having a great season, and then he had one bad game, like horrible game, and then everyone's saying, oh, he's done. Um, I was just saying you can't really come to a conclusion like that that quickly, but um, yeah, this game was just really bad as far as the Steelers' um, point of view is concerned, but... Yeah, other than that, it's basically it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you later.